to the Pilates Show, where we explore creative and innovative Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. I'm your host, Jennifer Gianni, and today we're talking about thoracic mobility one and menopause. Today we're talking about thoracic mobility and how to create more ease during those menopause times. And this is a really important place to go, especially for the menopausal woman. Uh, we tend to get very rigid and we kind of lock down in our shoulder girdle and our rib cage. So this is a great place to go to create some ease and um, feeling of being vibrant in the body with just a small little, little bit of movement. So Casey, who's not in menopause. She seems to be my, my model every time I do a menopause video. <laughs> You're gonna be set when you hit 50. <laughs> so she's stacking the hands one on top of the other. And we're gonna do the mini first part of the telescope. So I really wanna bring my client's awareness to letting go of the upper inner thigh, letting go of the leg and foot. And as she starts to mobilize through her rib cage, to just let the passenger of her head, her pelvis, and her leg shift. This is such an important detail. So trying not to hold anything rigid and really moving through the weight of the bones. So on the inhale here, I want her to slip her top hand into the distance and just let her face just splat there into the pillow. Yes, very heavy. And what I wanna see, I'm, I might have on a regular client, have her go back and forth a little bit, but since time is of the essence here, then I'm gonna look at her back. And what I'm looking at is that this posterior sling from her opposite glute all the way to this shoulder on the top, I want her to breathe into that. It's like the back of her Miss America banner. And then, oh, and she's already starting to wake up this part of her lower back, which is really what I want to see. Now, a lot of clients, when I ask them, because I'll, I'll see a lot of people collapsing in this area, when I ask them to start to fill this area out, they do a little strategy, they're very smart, and they, they tend to, when Casey's not doing this, they tend to grip up in their bottom waist. Yeah, so now she's doing it. I don't know if the camera can get that, but that's their strategy. And I don't want that to be the strategy, right? So Casey, go back into that collapse, and then bring this Miss America banner, really fill that out, and part of it is feeling that you can create just the right amount of space between the bottom of your rib cage and the top of your pelvis, actually on all sides here. So you're thinking about the front, you're thinking about the side waist, and this kidney space in the back. And then she's gonna to start to roll her head and rib cage back. She'll bend her elbow, so she just lets her heavy hand just brush onto that bottom arm and maybe onto the chest. And this is as far as I want her to go right now. I've added a blanket back here to kind of prop her up. And bring your hand to your chest a little bit more and see if that feels okay. Good, so we'll just keep the elbow bent here, but now she has this nice long collarbone. I built the floor up so she can rest. So this is the diagonal that I wanna pay attention to. All the way from this bottom opposite hip to her shoulder the front of the Miss America banner. So she's gonna to start to take some deep inhales and exhales. And I want her, without changing her mid back or lumbar spine too much, I want her to feel like this top hip, and it might mean the shifting of the leg a little bit back. I want this top hip to fall just a bit more towards the floor. Good, and again, I'm asking for length between the bottom of the rib cage and the pelvis on all sides. So again, we have this Miss America banner, but she's also, she's not shortening the back of the banner either. Good, and then on the exhale, she's gonna have that heavy hand, letting the heavy bowling ball head roll onto the pillow, allowing the leg to slip into the distance. And again, getting that beautiful length between the shoulder blades and also all of this space, especially, and this is most people, especially in this kidney space without hiking that bottom waist up. Good, and just one more time. Heavy, heavy head, really rolling through the weight of the bones. 
letting the jaw go, softening the face, and really arriving on the mat and arriving at your end position. So you can really feel that collapse and that support of the floor. That's it for today. If you have an observation or a question that you'd like to see answered in an upcoming episode, comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or the forum on our site. See you next time and never stop learning.